What if somebody broke in and <coughs> I had a fucking flail at the top of the stairs? <coughs> what the hell is a flail? <coughs> a flail? You a never. F- what the hell is a flail? Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm still got. <coughs> You're good. <coughs> um. So a flail. You know what a mace is? I do know what a mace is. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> is that the one with the with the chain, the chain the and flail. the ball. The flail is the one no with the chain ball. Shot. Yes. <coughs> no shot. This dude's crazy. The flail. Okay. So think about if somebody pulled in, <laughs> I guess pulled in, like broke into the house, and they were trying to steal shit. And the way our house is set up, you see it, and they're like, "Oh, okay, da da da." They do whatever. Yes, that is perfect. Um. Yo. So if you come down, uh, come flying down the stairs, are you just going to be swinging around your head or what's going to happen there? Okay, so they're kind of like, I mean, I wouldn't know, man. I, like, where would I even get Where would I even get one of those? It's funny that you say that, actually. So Ooh. I wanted to I make sure. Oh, damn. I wanted to make sure <laughs> that I knew what you were talking about. And uh-huh. That's exactly what I was thinking of. I found one for $24. Whoa. Here, let me go to the shopping tab and see if I, if that's the average price for a flail. Or 24 but, like, the way our house is set up, I don't know if, like, if they Damn. came upstairs. I How would I? I wonder how I would swing it. Like. If you come down, like, just straight up in your undies, swinging that thing over your head, I think anybody would run away. That's, I mean, you're right, but, like, what if I, like, had it cocked back, you know, and then, like, swung it. That thing's got range. <laughs> that thing's gonna re, especially like that one that the mouse is on. Oh, hold that on. That the this audio one right on here. Me. Yes, like look how much reach that has. If that was a real one, dude, that's crazy. That's got like at least that is what? a real one. That's why it's two hundred. That's like what three, four feet of fuck of chain. You're, um, gonna, you're gonna hit. Yeah, some. it looks like it's got a little bit of range. That's to almost it. as good as a shotgun. At that point. That's pretty much just a melee shotgun. You're going to hit what you swing at. <laughs> I mean, eventually. Look, they got they got ones with They got ones with uh a, two balls and a stick. Okay, that's not <laughs> what oh, Who are you who are you hitting with two ball? <laughs> two balls. <laughs> okay, that just looks funny at this point. Um who who's going to hit 
I wonder how much damage two balls would do against one person. So if you like, well, so let's say you're swinging it above your head. First of all, I don't think that'd work. I think you would have to do the method that I was talking about, and you have to have the cockbag method oh, with yeah. the two balls. Because yeah. then if you it's swing overhead, <laughs> or you can swing sideways, right. doesn't matter. You're At connecting that point, one way or another. But yeah, would it be worth? If work? you have the two balls, I'd swing sideways. With the single one, sideways. I'd probably go over that. So head. you would hit. But yeah, that that's pretty much just like a, a melee shotgun. But if we're going to sh- okay, shot. It, it's like a shotgun, right? I would get a shotgun only for home defense, though. Right. Yeah, me too. And same. I think the shotgun of choice would be. I'm a, I'm an average COD player. And I think a lot of people know that. Um, my favorite mode is zombies, and I love to use shotguns. And right. Zombies. What's your favorite shotgun? Favorite shotgun? Oh. In real life or zombies? In zombies. In zombies. Okay. Um. I think it's always been like the Spaz Twelve, something related to the Spaz Twelve. Because in Cold War, Cold War is. I would say my second favorite zombies behind Black Ops 3, of course. Nothing beats Black Ops 3. Um, Cold War, but they actually had the Spaz 12 in there. It it was goaded. It It always is, though. When you put, can you put, you were able to put Dragon's Breath on it, right? Ooh, not not the Spaz, but you were the Howard, the pump action. Oh yeah, you were able to put Dragon's Breath on that. Gotcha. But that's what I would get for home defense. I think I would get a Spaz 12. Or, I mean, you can't buy Spaz 12s because I think they've been, like, discontinued. Probably. And they've only had a certain amount made. But I would get something related to a Spaz 12. Most likely a semi-auto shotgun, I assume. And I would I would probably do a Dragon's Breath. I know we had this argument earlier. And it's like, oh, what would be the best for home defense? I'm just saying Dragon's Breath, just because you know you're going <laughs> to hit the dude, he's going to catch on fire. Yeah. Okay. No, so the last year of the Spaz 12 Ooh. was 2000. Yeah, and they only... Uh, uh, can you search up how many Spaz 12s there were made? Because there was only a certain handful amount made of Spaz 12s. Well, they made them for from 1979 to 2000. 79 to 2000. That, so there that had to have been year. quite a few. But it depends on, like, oh, what army was using them. You know, who had access to the Spaz-12? I assume it was the Americans or the Allies during the, uh, I guess, what, Korean-Vietnam War era? Uh, I honestly don't know who, well, it was, it's a French weapon. French. Only f- 37,000 were made. 37,000 were wow. made in between 1979 and 2000. That goes to show you, folks, that Spaz 12s are rare. Wow. Actually, yeah. So I doubt I could even get my hands on one. Doubtful. Okay, but what about what about you? Do you have a... It, it, I guess it can either be a melee weapon or a firearm, but do you have a weapon of choice that you would like to use for home defense? I just have a bunch of throwing knives. <laughs> you, like, I want I want to let the kids sleep. You know what I mean. So I just come out and just throw a bunch of throwing knives at him. You, I'll hit him. Yeah, <laughs> my fucker hit by six knives and not even know where it came from. <laughs> Dude, would you really do throwing knives though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'd have if I had enough of them. Throwing knives is an entry. Oh, I've been throwing knives been... since I was a kid, so I know how to actually throw a knife. I'm good. Okay. I'm good at swinging an axe, so like I think my ma- if I had to choose a okay, I want to ask you your firearm, but I think for a melee weapon of my choice, I would choose maybe besides the flail because the flail is still a good option. That's yeah, always a good option. It's a mix between I guess a firearm and a melee. Right. I would do an axe. An axe. An axe, like a fire axe. What about a samurai sword? <sighs> oh, don't get me started on a samurai sword. <laughs> um. Oh, a samurai sword or an axe? I mean, a some samurai. nunchucks, throwing stars. Boom. Bah, bah, 
bah, bah. <laughs> dude, throwing stuff. I w- a katana would cut through almost anything, but a fire axe would just, I don't know, kind of what give you the saddest. Fire axes aren't made to cut instantly through like katanas are. So it, I guess it's just kind of up to personal preference. Like, do you want to just like, and this is, we're not saying we would do this, but somebody you, head cut off with the katana. That's almost going to be a clean cut. Probably. Fire axes. Not. I've seen them cut small trees with a katana. Yeah, exactly. A fire axe isn't going to cut through. A tree in one swing. It's no. a. It's almost a blunt weapon. Right, right. So if you, uh, I was going for more of a neck <laughs> um, thing when I was talking about the katana. Yeah. So let's say you did that with an axe. Yeah, you're not. You're gonna go halfway. Right. Maybe not even halfway. Right. So at that point, it's like, well, if you break into my house. <laughs> I mean, as soon as you step foot inside, it's it's free game. It's, I, guess, it's I free would game. probably just do stay with the fire axe. Yeah. You said, well, you were talking about, like, your home defense for a shotgun. I I think I'd personally use a Desert Eagle. I want, I, I want a Desert Eagle so bad. Now, hear me out. Oh, okay. Because okay. the Deagles are – they're really big guns. It's a handgun, yes, but they're really big guns. They're and I would ho- not want to try to shove that they're in my pants. They're holding pretty just, much Barrett round, bro. I know, but I would not want to put that in my pants and try to walk around with that and try to conceal carry that shit. Like, I'll take a 1911 and I'll conceal carry that or just a Glock. That's what I want. A 1911? Uh, if I had to get a handgun, uh, I don't have a firearm right now. Right. But I've been kind of like in up in the air about what I would get and if I was to get a handgun it would be a what I would want is either what would you call it like chrome or silver plated yeah chrome 1911 that's what I want I feel like those are hard to come by too maybe but even if I can't get my hands on that I would just get a black 1911 black that's fair let's see if I can find one besides the the fake one. Yeah, those are fake. Let's try a real one. Hold on. But 1911 would definitely be the handgun of choice for me. Otherwise, my um, my father owns a Glock. I don't know what Glock, but he owns one. And I haven't shot it, but it's, it's a really nice looking gun. But I've held it. It's a really lightweight gun. It's crazy the difference between a 1911 and <laughs> real gun a 1911 and a Glock 19 the weight difference the Amy, well can a the 19- Glocks were used as police weapons for a really long time uh-huh. and so that's why they're they're such lightweight weapons because uh, cops and, and in the military as well just less common than not it was more of cops than it was the military mm-hmm. but uh yeah, the cops needed. They carry a lot of weight on them with their with their vests and all of their stuff on their uh, duty belt and all that good stuff. I guess, with yeah. all of that, they you have, have to. The taser, uh, uh, they need as mu- they need it to be as lightweight spray. as possible, so they can carry more yeah. of the stuff they have to carry. Cuffs. cuffs I, I taser, guess. Yeah, that's spray. a good point. You have a lot of stuff to carry, so you want a lightweight weapon. But can the um, can they hold the same ammunition? What? Uh, the 19 and the, uh, what was it? 1911 and the Glock 19. I guess they're both 19s. Um, I don't know if the 1911 is, has that small of bullets. Cause the Glock is a nine. Is it? Yeah. So it is forty five. That's stock forty five. Okay, stock forty five ammunition and what Glock is probably a nine mil. Or can Glock also take forty five? Glock can take forty five as well. 
So it's almost like the same handgun, just lighter. Yes, pretty much. And they also have the... So they don't have a 9mm 1911, um, but they do have a 1911 that's technically... It's technically the same thing, but they call it the Luger. And it's the that's the nine millimeter version of the 1911 is the luger yeah now i i've seen a luger in person i've held a luger Have that you? is crazy yeah. we're talking about this we're talking about the same weapon right it's supposed to be like the, the, we- the smaller version of the 1911 basically it's like the it's the smaller version like it's in the same class as the glock okay okay the glock is considered almost a luger almost that's in- yeah that's interesting that's interesting um okay Okay. Um, can you share with me your shotgun, though? If you had a choice. I don't know. Probably, I just straight up, uh, I don't know. Uh, I say, I say a musket. Yeah, okay, George Washington. What musket. The, what, that's, I think you going to blow a golf-sized hole through somebody's <laughs> chest? <laughs> that's the goal, yeah. That's that's 100% what we're aiming for. Yeah, that's science. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> and it's going to take me 45 <laughs> minutes to reload, but I get you again. Just know. Just know. After that first shot, second shot coming. Oh, yeah. Tw- you, I don't know when. <laughs> Time me. I'll see how long it takes. Hey everyone, we want to thank everyone for listening. Be sure to follow on Twitter at RNW Podcast 420 and at Instagram RNW Podcast. Don't miss our episodes on YouTube as well at the RNW Podcast. Thanks for listening and let's get back to it. So remember last week when we were talking about uh, how we were going to start our own car brand? Yeah, dude, we we got really deep into that conversation. We really did. We really did. Um, what do you want to do for, like, our hatchback? Okay, that's a... <clears throat> that is a really... It's good. Um, when I think of hatchback, I'm thinking of... First thing that pops into mind, <laughs> focus, not going to lie. Yes, sir. Is almost like a sports hatchback so yeah that's, def- that's what i'm aiming for that's definitely, definitely what i'm aiming a for. golf uh focus <clears throat> a uh what would it be type r well Civic oh yeah sort. the Civic type, r, type r, r falls into the rs and the uh what is the gti no not the gti GT. it's the r yeah the r the so it'd r, be the r the rs the rs and the type r is there another one i, I don't think so are we we're not missing one. Okay. Okay. Something like that. I want something aggressive. First of all, it's got to be aggressive. Even when we go down to our SE models, yeah, it's still got to look aggressive. Because if you look at the Fiestas and the Focuses that are almost like just the stock SEs, right. they still look good. You can make the, you buy one of those stock models, you can make them look good. The newer ones are aggressive, how they sit. Uh, what year is yours? Mine is a 2017. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm it's th- you're good. It's the 2017 ST. Um, it's my my baby. You know that. You know I love that car with all of my heart. Um, I put a I put a lot of time and effort into that car as well. I would say, hmm. I like the size. I the most I like about the Focus the ST and I would probably say the RS is the front end. The front end always gets me. It's the most aggressive looking, especially out of the new Civic and the new Golf. Right. And I guess what? The 18 RS was that the last year or whatever. The RS still looks the most aggressive. So, I think so too. I think I would say let's have a front end that's the RS and then the 2018 body of like the Civic. So like the hatchback that's not a hatchback. Yes. I love it. With I the love focus that. all with the focus RS or ST front end and then we'd have to include something golf. I'd want to kind of mix all three. 
Something similar to all three. What we'll just do the you? Golf interior because the Golf's interior is pretty nice. It reminds me of the Dodge interior, but it's it's kind of nice. Okay, okay, we'll do the Golf interior, okay, dude. Bet. That'd be a perfect car. And then I think what? So we'll too. throw the so it's gonna be hatchback. We'll throw four banger. I say in we do. SE? I say we uh, in the SE. In the SE, I say what we do what Ford does, and then just put like <laughs> we'll put like uh the eco the fe- Oh, we should do like. The we'll have our uh let's do our SEs will be one point nine liter turbos, like small turbo, like like an eco boost turbo. And then we'll have our uh our two liter big turbo. Uh huh. And then we'll have our high performance, oh. which that means all of our uh all of our hatchbacks will have turbos in them. Even our like okay. S E models. But High performance, like it's a package for the SE. The so the SE RSE model will have a small like eco eco boost okay. turbo. So then, what would what would our like ST model and then what would our Type R model be? So our our ST model would be uh, the two liter turbo with the big turbo. Okay, so and then would put the two six twin turbo on our like rs type r v6 twin turbo yeah oh so go big or go home absolutely hmm oh oh that's that's really that's really fucking good with uh twin turbo but we also have to have a i feel like we'd have to have like a type s another version that's almost kind of like the type r the Golf R, you know? Right. But that comes in a four-banger twin turbo. The 2.6. Six. The 2.6 six is a four-banger. It is? Because you said V6 I'm pretty sure. twin turbo. No, I said 2.6. Oh, 2.6 two six. liter. Oh, oh, my bad. You're my good. Bad. You're good. You're good. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's a four-cylinder, though. I thought you were talking about V6 the whole entire time. Wow. Okay. It's a Dodge motor. Dodge motor. So it's a four cylinder. No, it's a six cylinder. It is a V six. So yep, we just twin turbo the V six. Yeah. So I guess well, it's it is a small V six. It's a small V six, but we'll okay. Twin turbo okay, it. so that's pretty much just a four cylinder, so but just like, on crack. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a V six. Yes, but it's a low powered V six. So if we actually had to like worry about uh, regulations and. Like actually passing inspections, mm-hmm. it would be okay. It would work. Okay, okay, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. V small V6 wind turbo. We're pushing the limits on the economy. Emissions, so we're good. Emissions. Thank you. V6. Ooh. So we have that, and that's also in the SE. Or you said a four banger in the SE. In the, the SE, the SE will have a smaller no, four banger. So be. our SE will be the 1.9 liter uh, four cylinder uh-huh. with a little small turbo, and then the our ST would be the two liter turbo with the big turbo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, so we have that out of the way. So if we have Civic, we were on family cars last time. And we didn't get to finish our discussion on that. So we were talking about Camrys. And would we only do a Camry or would we kind of have a smaller car, kind of like the, uh, not like the Civic, so not a hatchback, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, Like a Chevy Cruze? Almost, just like a, 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 a mid-size, mid-size, mid-size sedan. sedan. Would you have anything in mind for a midsize sedan? Like what's that? I don't be- have anything in mind because everybody's discontinuing them. They're no longer a thing. They're merging with, like, the full size sedans. Okay, okay, but think about a. Uh, hmm, I'm thinking of just a new age Pontiac GTO, kind of. What? Like you know the back in the day, small car, big motor. I'm thinking, what if we pulled something off? That's a full-size sedan. It's just two-door. 
Okay, but what if we when, had when you're saying mid-sized sedan, you think Chevy Cruze, Dodge Dart. What if we those had, are mid-sized? Sedans. What if we had a Dodge Dart almost like that with a V8? Just LS swap it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> or diesel. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wait, but oh. we don't need a TDI motor. They'll blow up. We'll, we'll have to do that in a hatchback though. Okay, well, we'll we put, released we'll a Type one, R one TDI. D- oh, no. oh my god! No. It has like fucking three, stock roll calls. It has like stock, like almost three fifty horsepower. It's pushing so much torque that motherfucker can haul. That motherfucker can pull sh- trucks out of ditches. Ooh, how much? How much horsepower would you say? Type R TDI. We just made that up. Just make a guess. Base 400 horsepower. Base 4? Base 400 Ooh. horsepower. It's a diesel motor, though, so it's not like... It's pushing more... Isn't it pushing more torque It would be horse? more torque, yeah. <laughs> um. So, we have that in the Hatchback, and then we have that, what, in the... Only the midsize, because if we have something like the Dodge Dart or like just a smaller Camry, like the Corolla, <laughs> and we just throw in a fucking diesel, I say we just keep it at that. Otherwise, okay. we'll have a diesel truck. Only no, 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 no. Only way I'll put a diesel in the hatchback is if if on if we only go electric for trucks. You're asking, are you serious? No. Fuck oh, no. I'm not serious. Woo! Are you kidding me? We won't have one electric car. We will not have one. Unless oh. it is shaped like a dumpster. A bike. A bike. Okay, hold on. We can have a dirt. We can release a dirt bike or something like that that's electric. At least it's a bike and not a, like a motorcycle is electric. That's not as bad as a car that's electric, though. Pass. Okay. No electric. No electric vehicles, period. Okay, that's fair. That's right. I'm cool with that. Okay. For the R and W brand. Dodge Dart. Dodge Dart TDI. That's fucking insane to think about. But then we get to <laughs> Dodge Dart Diesel. Would we also throw a V eight model? No. Hmm. What about a are you up for a twin turbo V six for a mid size? So I wanna make some oh, listen, I, wanna I wanna put make a twin small that's fast. I want our hatchback. I know, but I like uh, it is small and fuck. fast. We have we have a full sized like muscle car. Uh-huh. We have our hatchback. We have our family friendly car. Right. You want to put a twin turbo? You want to put a V six in a fucking car? Then let's put a twin turbo V six in an SUV. Twin turbo V six in an SUV. In an SUV. Okay, so bringing that up, Hmm. I'm thinking of something not as big as the, let's say, the Escalade, the Durango, not a a third row. No, I don't want to bring that up. I I would think smaller like the Cherokee. Not the Grand Cherokee, but the Cherokee, the... I'm just bringing up smaller, like the CRV. I I would count that as as SUV. Explorer. The... Ex- expedition. Expe- Explore? No, the expedition's the big edge. one. The Expo- edge. Ooh, Edge ST or Explorer ST? No, Explorer's not a third row, is it? I think it's I only. Think it is. I think it can be. Okay, so, okay, something like the Edge ST, the Edge Type R, and we just do something like that. Twin turbo V6 for our whoops, <coughs> for our highest model. I would like that. Um. The Explorer first. Yeah. So the Ooh. ever since 2022, okay. the so third Explorer. row has been standard in the Explorers. Okay. So it. So it, we're talking about now. So we can count the Explorers as third row. Okay. So we would go something like the Edge. Edge ST, or we would even go up to the Edge Type R. Something related to that, or we call it our own thing. Like, if we have a Type R, we can almost make it like it's our initials. Like, I'm the Type R because my name is Reed. There you go. And we'll have certain models named the Type W. You're the W type. W, w type. I got you. And that will be the Edge's um, top model. 
But or or do you want the Civic, the hatchback? You want I want the, the hatchback because I drive w? a hatchback every day. I'll take the fucking small. The what would it be? Midsize. I'll take the midsize SUV right. Type R. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, we're good with it. We're good with it. Okay, so we have that out of the way. Now we would do twin turbo V6 on the SUV. Yeah. How big of a V6 though? A three liter. Three. Three liter. Okay. 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 Now, and then two small turbos, I assume. Yes. Nothing big. Well, not small, but not big. Average. Not small, not big. Is your turbo big or small? I have a big turbo. Big turbo. So just a little smaller than your turbo? Okay. Okay. We'll have that on it, and then the Type R will be the track package, and then... Uh, I feel like we'll also... I want to release a vehicle that also has a drag package. You know, the, and we'll the, name the, it... We'll name it literally the... R, like something like the RW. The... Or... or, uh, do you, or ooh. Dude, we'll just call it the Rhino Whale. <laughs> Instead of like the Track Hawk, the Rhino Whale. The Rhino... Hellcat Rhino Whale. Wait, okay. That brings up everybody... Belek. Um <laughs> that brings up a good point. No, no, the Rhino Whale. That's That's it's got good. the R and the W in it. It is You got something better that would be R and W. Um Oh. No, we'll do race. Race that's whale. <laughs> that's <laughs> slow that's shit. what I was thinking. <laughs> oh. Race whale. Uh, uh, uh W www.racewhale.com the ra- <laughs> we'll call it the race whale what is that <laughs> oh that's too good what like what what would be another good <sighs> okay it doesn't even matter um, it's the race whale we'll go with yeah race the whale. race whale I'm we're cool going with for that. race whale until we come up with something that better. will be the st that will even be the highest model of our suv We'll just yeah. be the race whale. It'll be this race whale. The it's biggest. The, it's the drag version. But the okay, no, no. But the ST can't be race whale because it's going to be the twin turbo V6, and we'll make it in the bigger. The race whale version is just going to be a V6 with two big turbos. No, we'll just do uh, or, a twin turbo four six V6 for the drag one. For the drag one. So for the the, the racing whale, it okay. would be a four six. But V6 with twin turbos. But think about it. How Dodge has the SRT, and then they have the fucking... What's the other one? What's above SRT? Hellcat. Okay. Yeah. Scat pack. And th- something like that. Would we have the model that's the ST, not the race whale? But would we have something else? We can call it something else. Not the race... The race whale being the biggest one. Twin Why tur- do we have so many fucking uh it, oh god damn SUVs? Why do we have so many fucking SUVs? That's like five SUVs. I mean right SUV there. guy. Okay. Okay, but the thing is, is we can't have five SUVs. <sighs> You're hurting my feelings. I know, I know. I hate to break it to you, but we can't do it. Huh. Because next year, you know, you're going to want, like, a RAV4 or some shit, too. And then you're going to be like, oh, God, but I need the the Toyota Highlander. Oh, a Toyota Highlander. I yeah. knew it was coming. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just skip off of the midsize SUVs right now. All right. We already have. We'll we already just, talked about full size. We'll just do kind of like the, what, Expedition, Cadillac, Escalade. Just put a 6.2 in it. 6.2 liter V8. We're talking. We're talking. And we'll make Supercharged. a... Supercharged. We'll make a... That's the race whale is going to be the race model. And it's going to be... Let's say we have an Escalade. Sl- almost like slam it kind of. Put it on race suspension from Forza. <laughs> put the... So it's not canted. Not quite. The biggest V8 that we have. The biggest motor we have goes in that fucking SUV. No matter what it is. V8. V10. Even if it's there. Oh, it's geez. going in there. With a turbo. With even a turbo, how about even supercharged? Even if it's turbo... Wait, you said no matter if it's supercharged? I said even if it's supercharged. Oh. Not Ooh. an awful idea, right? So, that's a good point. Even if it's... I wasn't even thinking of superchargers. 
for the for the V8s, I want to supercharge all the V8s, turbo the V6s, and the four cylinders. Mm. Okay. There shouldn't be a single vehicle that we have that is not turboed or supercharged. So, if we have a supercharged, would we even go up to V10? No. Are you sure? We would have a 10 speed, ten, but not a V10. 10 speed automatic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, a 10 speed manual. Ten, no, 12 speed manual. I don't know how much? Oh my god, that'd be so much effort. 18 speed. Even like, isn't that what a semi is? It's, it, yeah, semis are 18 speed. Gosh, but like, you know how much effort that would be? Just manually driving like a 10 speed. That would be. Tough. Even like not even like racing it around, but like you'd have to shift every few seconds. Ba, 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 right, ba. like oh, just driving works. normal too. Especially like, let's say your focus had ten speed. Oh my gosh, that would be dangerous. That would be a headache. That would be a fucking that headache. That would be a fucking headache. Uh, so, so we have that for. The, but what would the V8? How big would the V8 be? Six two. What What is the six two? It's six two. I don't know. It's six two V eight supercharged. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's the LS. It's the LS. I sold you LS swap everything. Ooh. If you okay. if you want advice to that will take you a long way, LS swap everything. It's the only way. This is the way. Just like the Miata, LS swap. The LS Miata. swap the Miata, the Hell Kitty. So you have to put the Dodge motor. In okay, it. so we have the Race Whale. That's the R and W. First time here. First time. <laughs> um, oh, that's now we're funny. getting to the. I think let's say we'd get to probably what the most important part of our brand, which would be trucks. That'd be the oh, most important. Part. Electric. Don't say that. I'm just kidding. You're scaring I'm me. I'm kidding. I don't know. So nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. So what if we had? What would we have? Almost like something like the Tacoma, the GMC, whatever, the Sierra. The oh, Canyon. And then the Colorado and the Ra Ranger. So would God we have something like that? Reliable and Ranger. <laughs> F-150, Silverado, Ram. You know, would we have something like that too? We'd, would we have two types of trucks? No. Why? Why? <laughs> Damn, G, chill. No, we can have two types of trucks if you really want. I feel like, but if we're if we're having two types of trucks, then we're just buying the rights to the Rangers, to the Ranger. You you want the Ranger? We're just buying the rights to the Ranger. I want the I I want the Colorado. You don't want the best selling mid trucks ever. No, I want oh, the Ranger. Oh wait, old reliable. No, Caven's the got Ranger. Caven got Ranger. me there. I think I would want to argue for like the Tacoma. <sighs> you Toyota fanboys are killing me. The Tacoma me. just lo it looks. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is, but the Ranger, it's iconic. It, it looks. It's iconic. It is. It Ford looks fucking Ranger. It's a Ford fucking Ranger. God damn right. We also okay. would have the rights to that. Okay, so sure, we can agree on the Ranger. I I'll get to decide the truck then. Shit. Yeah. So. So, have something big decided. I am a big fan. Now, don't both of you, f both of you fuckers, don't judge me for what I'm about to say. I think for something like our truck, I would want to go like a Ram front end, but the F-150 body style. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we should definitely do uh the Ram front end. I can I can fuck with that, but I think we should do the newer Chevy body style cuz I like the Chevy body style, but I think the front end is ugly. I hate I hate the new Chevy trucks, bro. I think it was what 2021 or 2022 was Chevy's worst year of trucks ever. It was 2020. 2020. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> that's gross. Yeah, that's too bad. But 
The new Tundras look so fucking neat. And I'll take any Tundra 07 and up. 07 and any up? Any Tundra 07 and Do up. Do you not like the old one no. that look like Tacoma's? No. Grody. What do you mean? <laughs> they're gross. They're good. The, I know they're reliable, but they're gross. You're gross? My grandpa drives that. No, they they are ugly. They're no, nope, no, bad. O four, O four Tundra stepside. Stepside. That's gonna be an interesting search. O four Tundra. So it's like those fucking those. What the every fuck tr- is what that? What the fuck is that? What the. F- Okay, okay, that? so what we're looking at no is shot. an 03, Absolutely 04 no shot. fucking Toyota Tundra, Stepside 015. Well, oh, well, that's just the image. That's what the image says. But we're looking at a Stepside, and right now I'm going to say it is one of the most ugliest fucking rear ends I've ever seen. That's hideous. No, fuck you. Look at this lowered one. The front end, sexy. <laughs> I, love the, I love those year of that fucking is Tundras. That is disgusting. But yeah, yeah no. You're a you're a no, you're a Toyota fanboy though, so yeah. <laughs> yeah no. Yeah, I'd Hideous. probably fucking just if I got one of those, I'd just slam it. No, what? What? He what? said, "I'll what is just right? slam it." Why in the fuck would you slam? Oh, here it is. There it is. I was looking for it. Yes, is it sir. not? No, that's just a regular 04. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, no. Fuck no. I never want to... Oh, God. There's a lifted one again. I never want to see this thing again. Ever in my entire life. What are we... All right, you starting? Ready, set, yep. go. We're getting back in the trucks after a shout-out. Fucking Chris. You got two all seconds. right. Oh. Hey, so... Uh, shout out to Kristen. You know exactly who you are. Yes, sir. So, trucks. getting back into it, yes, trucks. We decided that we would have. I like the idea of the Ram front end and the new Chevy Silverado body style. Right. What engines would we do in it? Because I I feel like truck would be the trucks would be our what number one, number one top seller. I assume. Um, well, with the five fucking SUV classes that you gave me, it'd probably be SUV because that's all we sell other than one muscle car and one family car and two hatchbacks. We don't have a cross. Oh, well, we do have. We SUV. have five. The race SUVs. whale. The race whale. That's what we decided. Okay. <laughs> Real quick. Side note. We decided that our top, our, our top model performance we decided to combine R and W. Race. That was the first one. That's my initial. Because it's also first, you know. <laughs> and then And whale. then it was a whale. Unless do you have a can you come up with like another animal that or something that starts with a W that sounds cool? Because I so <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Walrus R R R Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That's what I think. Is that of not what I was going for? It Did is I not say that's for. what I was going for? It is. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking crazy. Thank you. Check, please. Damn right. <laughs> the other, the other one I was thinking of is I don't know if we could do it, but like the ra- the race Wendigo. The what? I would say search up a picture of a Wendigo, but it's like a. No, it's a folklore monster. <laughs> right. so, yeah, no, it's it's creepy. Pass. Um, All right, what else do we got? Uh, like, we got whale and walrus. Walrus, walrus. Um, oh man. Uh, Walter. <sighs> okay, so we Walter. have <laughs> the race Walter. The race Walter. Walter, what do you do? <gasps> Wolverine! Oh! The race Wolverine! No, the race weasel. <laughs> Dude, the, or the race wasp? 
The race wasp, the race water bug. <laughs> <laughs> races, wa- races, bug. the r- race water. <laughs> hey. I don't think that one. Right, right. We're Ray- not going to talk about right, water right, bug. We're going to do a vote. Kevin, you're going to put your arm in for this. All right. Raise your <laughs> hand if you're down for race Wolverine. Okay. Raise your hand if you're down for race weasel. Yes, sir! <laughs> All right. Race Weasel it is. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so to- I guess now top performance model is going to be the, the race, race weasel. weasel. Yes, sir. Perfect. We're going to have to make a logo for that and everything. Like oh. a fast weasel or something. <laughs> Just make the Scat Pack logo a weasel? The Scat Pack is the B with the wheels. Oh, yeah, the B with the wheels. <laughs> it's not copyright. No. I mean, it's our own design. I think it's legal. So, getting back to the uh, trucks, what would our would we go race we weasel on the trucks as well? Mm, one, we put it on one truck. Would that be the uh, small truck or would that be the big full truck. size truck? Full size. It'd be full like our size. Baja truck, our Raptor. Yeah, our TRX. Yeah. Yo, dog. (laughs) We'll put the Hellcat logo, but it'll be a weasel. But we won't have a red eye. We have to change the color of it. Okay, so aren't... Hey, I would feel like... So my favorite color is green. Pink eye. Yes, because it's a weasel, bro. (laughs) We'll We'll have the race weasel. And instead of the red eye, it'll be the pink eye. The pink eye. Because it's a fucking weasel and they're gross. <laughs> that's what it's going to fucking sound like. Yes, sir. Yes. That's the an otter. Weasel. What the fuck is that? That's, no, that's definitely a fucking otter. Go up top. Okay, that, yeah, that one or that one. If you want to go that one or the cartoon version. <laughs> that yes, one. Yes, sir. That's it. Mm-hmm. Kevin. That one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> I want this. Um, with our trucks, would we go the would we go a turbo on our trucks, or no, would we just just supercharger? Supercharger. Hmm. Okay. Now you said six two. Yes. With a supercharger. With a supercharger. All wheel drive on the oh. SUVs. On the SUVs. On four, the SUVs. Four by four drive option. A four by four option on one. All wheel drive on the other, and but then the, the base model would be just rear wheel drive. The the r- race weasel for the race weasel no for our, drive. we'll just call it our. What well, we'll just call it our F one fifty. I guess. Uh, what would our big truck be called? I just our basic truck. Okay, so our ba- our basic truck, our race model would be rear wheel drive. The race weasel would be rear wheel drive because it would almost be kind of like drag ready. Right. So. But that's I, the weasel. It's the weasel. <laughs> it's that, that's the weasel. Or, you know, I can't decide between. I think maybe I'd want it race truck over drag truck. Almost like a track truck. Right. I'd still want rear wheel drive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost yeah. like the Shelby Super Snake. And yeah. we go. Yeah. Is that rear wheel drive? Okay. Yeah. So rear wheel drive, the big ass V8. And then. Yeah. That will be our. Lowered, yes. Yeah. That would be our big truck. But you were saying something about Baja. Mm-hmm. So should we have something else be the Baja? No, we'll just have a bigger version of it. Okay. Like the Ram. The 4x4? The Ram has the TRX. We'll just call it the... Ford pink. has the Raptor. We'll just call it the, the Pink Eye 4x4. The Pink Eye 4x4? That's the weasel motor, though. That's the race motor. I guess yeah. I guess that would be in the that, the Baja truck. Yeah, so, yeah that would yeah. be it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. Now I'm gonna get into a kind of a controversial topic. Oh, here we go. All right. You guys ready? No, no, no. This is this is okay. This is not my speed, but this is this is more up to speed on your guys' stuff. So when we come to Vehicles. Are we going to do motorcycles? Is is that is to. that in the the plan? I want to. Yes, exactly. Just like Honda, we. I am a bike guy, so I say yes. 
Okay. Okay. So, bikes. Like, I don't know anything about these bikes, but you guys do. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, pass it off to him. So, he... So, I, I want you to, like, g- give me a bike type real quick. Well, I'm going, like, we'll have we'll have all of them. We'll have, like, as low as the Grom at the 125, the little play toy. Uh-huh. And then we'll have uh, the probably the next uh-huh. one up would be a 300. 300. And then we'd have 400. I think we'd skip five and do 600. Would we go up to 1,000? Yes. So, that's that's race. That's yes. MotoGP. Yes, sir. Let's go. Track suit included. Yeah, <laughs> it was safety first. Uh, if so, I I think I'd be too scared to ride bikes. I, as of right now, I'm too. I think I'm too. We scared need to, to get you bike. on a moped. You'll love it. You'll love a moped. And if that's as far as you, you want to go with it, people make fun of people on mopeds. Though. It's close enough. I'll have to get a Grom or something so I can get something smaller to keep up. Because on a bike, like on my full 600, there's no way. I think I would try a Grom. That doesn't seem Groms bad. are fun. You should definitely do a Grom. But it goes super slow because I know once I get used to it, it's going to be like, I want to go fast. I want right. to be like Rick and Bobby. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't first, you're last. No, bro. Get a Grom. Get used to it. I'll get a small bike. and Or I'll, I'll get – if you're on a Grom, I can keep my big bike. And we I'll just keep up with you. Okay. It's doable. So would we have something kind of like – would we have a small bike? And then we would have a mid-sized bike and – like a sportster, so we'd have a Grom, a sportster, and a whatever the fucking thousand cc beamers called, thousand RR. Yeah, and it'll it can look like the fucking Could whatever Jixer clan you're in. Or no, not the flip flops like, <laughs> or whatever <laughs> Honda uh, bike it is. I don't I don't know what these fucking fast bikes are called. They're literally just based off their cc. We're not going to get into Jackson Mahomes. He was just oh, drafted by Johnson okay. County Correctional Facility. Jackson Mahomes, quarterback. Uh, Los Angeles Raiders. Let's go. <laughs> do we – wait, do we have Do we have anything for vehicles otherwise? I mean, so we have almost everything covered, right? Yeah. I mean, other than the fact that we talked about having our – we weren't going to do a diesel truck, but if we did, it would be the Cummins motor. Anyway, that's it. Whoa. Okay, so you just take an executive decision on that one right there? Yeah, that one, no vote. Hmm. I see. Okay. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You can have all design rights, but that's the motor. All design rights? The huh? whole thing. It could look like a whole ass dick. Oh, for all I care. my God. That's what we need. That's what we need. We need something like the PT Cruiser, the personal transit. Oh, we need my God. something like the whatever the fucking Chevy one is called. The only way I'm I, the crew, the one that's like looks like the cruise. The, but no, the the one that looks exactly like a PT, the PT Cruiser. Cruiser. Is that the Express? HHR. HHR. Yeah, that's what it is. I know. I know. Well, What's yeah, the truck but one we're called? gonna make one. The SSR. Okay, can you no. can you pull that up? Look at his mugshot. That's anyway. sorry. He's uh he ugly. He ugly as hell, boy. He ugly as hell, boy. <laughs> that. I want the Chevy SSR. <laughs> yeah, no. Drag tr- <laughs> drag truck. No. Okay, Fuck we no, we, things ugly as hell. We need something like the PT Cruiser though. Something that's like rely something something the PT Cruiser was not reliable. Oh, I I didn't mean to say reliable, you motherfucker. I My was me- bad. I'm sorry. I was meaning to say we need – I think that should be the thing that we should just throw everything in. Oh, we have our four-cylinder one. Then we have our twin-turbo V6 one. Then we have our V8 one. And then, you know, we fuck it, we have our diesel one. That's just going to be the body style with the most – like, we just throw everything in. Like, okay, can we do that? But it can, can it be three-wheeled? No. Why not? That's just da- a V8 <laughs> three wheels, just a death sentence. It's fine. That's like the Viper we were talking it about sick. last We'll just episode. lower the shit out of it. Aerodynamics, it'll be all right. Like, look at the yeah. Click that one right there. That's hot. Like that. Imagine that, but with a fucking do the one with flames on it. A diesel one. What? With the body kit, the drag one. Go right. 
Oh. God, hell no. Think about that with a V8, though. No, no PT Cruisers. I want one. don't stop until my driveway full of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want one so bad. Hunter. Oh, God. Look at me. Look I'm at looking. me right in the eyes right now. I'm looking right through the four eyes. Would you drive a manual? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, I didn't even finish. You don't have to. PT Cruiser. Yes, 100%, 1,000%. Let's do it. See? A- anybody would. Anybody. I want a PT Cruiser so bad. I would say that would be it. That would be Oh, my God. We haven't even talked about vans. What oh, we is did forget about vans. our van options? So we One have van. stuff like the Dodge Grand Caravan, the Toyota Sienna, the Honda Odyssey, the Ford. I don't give a fuck because I don't have one anymore. Um, We're put <laughs> The Transit. Ooh, Ooh, that's not a fucking minivan. We will do... We'll do a Ford Transit, something like that, as a... We'll do a V6, and then the only other auto we'll, op- we'll offer is the Race Weasel. On a... Like a Transit? Yep. Okay. No, 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 no. Just a minivan? Just, just, yep, regular minivan. The Race Weasel? It's a like a, just a regular V6, no turbo, no nothing. Uh-huh. And then the other option is the Race Weasel. You're in caps lock. Um... <laughs> so, hell cap- yes, the Hell Kitty. The Hell Kitty! Hi, Kitty! Uh, I would so whip a fucking, uh, Pacific, uh, fucking Hellcat Pacifica. What the fuck is that? Alright. I just wasted a couple seconds of my life. So, after the fucking vans, I guess we have that. We have bikes, we have hatchbacks, we have vans, we have trucks. <laughs> oh my God. All right, buddy. We're talking performance. We're talking top of the line Le Mans. We're talking supercar now. We're talking, we're building a race car. All right? Ford GT, Ford GT40. It was only called the 40 because it was only 40 inches tall. <sighs> Something like that. We need to make almost like a super sports car or a low-end supercar. I don't know if I would want to make a high-end supercar yet. Like the gonna... uh, Lamborghini, something Lamborghini or something new Ferrari. I want something kind of oldish, Not like old like the Diablo. But okay. something performance kind of wise, you know what I mean? Okay. It's a supercar, but it's not a supercar. Okay. So what do you want to do? What comes to mind when I think of super sports car for some reason is like the Acura, oh. the Acura NSX, the new ones. Uh-huh. That comes to mind. A C8 Corvettes. No, I didn't even. No, I don't want to. I don't like the Corvettes. I don't like them either, but. Okay, but I guess talking it's about? something like that. An Audi R8. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Okay. Almost like a... It doesn't even need to be rear engine. It can even be mid-engine, mm-hmm. but like a supercar. Right. Mc- my favorite supercar. McLaren. And I guess high... McLaren. Yeah, fuck McLaren. you. McLaren. Fuck you. McLaren. Okay, McLaren. I think my favorite McLaren is a P1. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> Look at that motherfucker. Yeah. No. Yes. They are hot, though. They I are know. really good-looking But what's cars. bad about them, Hunter, is they're made out of pu- – the, the whole carbon the frame, fiber. everything is made out of carbon fiber. Yeah. You get in a crash in one of those at high speeds, it just dead. collapses. Yep. It just collapses into itself. They're like, oh, it's our most reliable thing. It's like, no, it's fucking not. Yeah, You're you get die. rear-ended, and it totals it. Like, yeah, oh. no. That's crazy. See, okay, so that's what I would want to do. For our supercar. Even if that had not even a V10 or a V12. Even if that had the (laughs) high-end. Even if that had a high-end V8. I'm cool with that. Because even V8s are in supercars. Yeah. Which is crazy. So what would we do? What push us a 6.7? A 7.2? That'd be our highest V8 and that'd only be in the supercar? In line (laughs) 6. Okay. Would we do? 
An inline six. We'll do a turbo to inline six. Nah, stock. Inline six. We'll just do the body of the McLaren. Uh-huh. And then just have it be like a super fuel efficient car. That's the SE model. <laughs> it's the SE model. But what, is a 7.2 even a thing? Is that even real? Or is that just in Forza? No, it's the racing motor. It's what they put in, like, fucking NASCARs and shit. We would throw a 7.2 in our McLaren, okay. our supercar. That's okay. It I'm would, okay with it. And and America. since you, you, cho- you chose what would be on the trucks, I want to say I want to choose a turbo. Definitely for the supercar. Okay. No supercharger. I think as long as the blow off valve sounds amazing. Well, okay imagine a seven two V eight twin turbo pushing almost a thousand horsepower. Stock. It would No turbo? No, 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 no. Stock. Thousand oh. horsepower. Stock like off the assembly line, thousand horsepower. Mm. That okay. Okay. I'm cool with that. God, Jesus. Thousand that's an expensive horsepower. Car. Oh, but then we come down to the company who had had what division? Because like if I'm if I'm doing the supercar, you just run it. Well, yeah, but you have you said yeah, okay, I'm down. Well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you you said, have what did to, I just agree to? You have to. to divide the company up into different parts. Like Ford has Ford, and then Ford has Ford Racing. Mm-hmm. Then you have Ford Shelby. Mm-hmm. Then you have um, f- there was another performance Ford. Performance. I don't know if that's racing also, but yeah. No, racing is racing. Performance. You have all those different wrenches. Like, what would we be in? What would you want to be in charge of? I just I own it all, and then you just run it. <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 <laughs> he said, "Oh, wait, wait. Wait. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, a yeah. 50-50 partnership. Yeah. Fifty-fifty. I own it. You run it. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We both own it, and we both run it. We both own it, and we just hire Kevin to run it. Kevin could run the whole company while we just go to Cancun. Yep. All right. You can join us uh, every once other, once every, one week a year. No, one week a month. A year. Every peasant. E- by the way, you make twelve dollars an hour. No, every three months. <laughs> he said no. We'll do three months. <laughs> he can join us in Cancun every three months. Every three months, I suppose, since you have a generous All right. Other boss, Kevin. <laughs> Twelve dollars an hour. You get to run a company, though. You get all this. You get all the cars you want. Okay, that's that's the, one of the benefits, though. He gets to test drive. He gets to drive all the cars. He gets to keep. Oh, he gets to get a model of every car. You get a company meal card and a company gas card. And now, then, what are you doing? You, and the clock, the you have to clock out when you're not working. But you get to join us in Cancun every a week, every three. And months. we pay for it all. But you get every car that we release, Kevin. And we can go somewhere. We don't have to go to Cancun every time. Oh yeah, we can go to we can go to Japan. We Jamaica, can go to Europe. Yeah, literally anywhere. <laughs> okay, well That's there fine. would be differences. That's of fine. Course. Well, the thing is, is you. Yeah, but then but you the, just. But then you were. That's our own car. Yeah. That's never been but, made before. Am I wrong? And then we'll just slap our own logo on but it. But then you replace the Dodge headlight. You had the Dodge front end, but you replace the Dodge headlights with the Ford F one fifty headlights. Or you just do ah! like new gen face, old gen headlights. Cat eye. Yeah. Oh my God. We nobody's do, made it before. We do a new cat eye. We're doing it. We're doing it. That's it's a win. It. That's it. All right. All right. Can you lawsuit? Fuck you. Can you look up? Uh, <laughs> we're not going to get sued. It's legal. A new cat no, eye? we're not. New cat eye? <laughs> we couldn't get sued. There's no way. If we just mash everything together, it's it's legal. Wow. I'm going to say, dude, Bush goes down. Bush tastes weird. They're just sexy by themselves. They don't have to be new. That's still your favorite truck, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Yes. 03 to 06. Chevy <laughs> Silverado. <laughs> He pulls up the stock one. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. He clicks on the base model single cab short. Go down. One. Wait, wait. Down right. No down right. You're not. You won't do it. Caven, down right. That one. Yeah. I want that. I like the Chucky doll. <laughs> Why is it Tennessee squatting? Tennessee squat, and motherfucker. There's, there's a dildo stuck to the windshield. Yeah, that's what squatting guys do. Oh, is that? That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because they're gay. Because they're gay. That makes perfect sense. Oh, so with the 
fucking the vehicles. You know what we did today? We what? fucking. So Hunter had a good idea of Uh-oh. putting a post out on Facebook of wanting help with the trial on Forza Horizon 5 this week. Oh yeah, we and couldn't decide on a car. He he yeah, he wasn't sure if it was going to go anywhere. He was like, "Oh, I'll just throw it up, see if it's going to see if anybody will spawn." And you got a lot of fucking responses. Yeah, I had 40 likes and 30 some comments within like an hour. Like people were really responsive. They were really nice and like actually, you know, helped me out. And we picked a car from there and I did I picked one and you picked another yep. one. That was great. What uh, what uh oh, I I picked the first one. Yeah. So, uh with the first race I chose or the trial which is the three races if nobody knows the three races online um I chose the 92 was it a 92 yeah the 92 NSX um and mm. I fucking mm. keep going keep going and I fucking put a body <laughs> kit on it some good tires uh, like not even engine upgrades on it. It was just all like springs, brakes, tires, mm-hmm. body kit, transmission, like no race parts. And I did pretty good in it. Yeah, no, actually you did. You had a lot of clean racing. It, you didn't hit very many walls and you didn't yeah. have to bang into all the other people. We to were get together ahead. when we, when we did the races, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. No. So that was cool. But yeah. What'd you use? I chose the um, RX seven. Yeah, <laughs> I chose the RX-7. Um, we'll put the body yeah, you want kit to on it. That? Hideous body kit. That makes what else you put on it? <laughs> Don't judge me with the drag tires. No, I put drag tires on it. No, I had to. It, it goes. You. It zooms, bro. Zero to sixty and point five. Point five, indeed, and, and it was raining. I got the idea from one of you guys on the Forza page, so yeah, no, I shout appreciate out, that. The what shout is out it? To whoever it was, shout out Forza World Community. Is that what it was? Forza World Community. Yeah, shout it's on out Facebook. Facebook group. They're great. No, everybody will help you out if you have any questions. Go there. There was the Ferrari that we were talking about using. I forgot what it was, but it was fucking twenty million in the auction house, and there was only two of them. mm Hmm. It's like, bro. Yeah, that was a, the people were, everybody was saying that was a good car and a good one to use. But, you know, there was only two of them and 20 mil. I'm not trying to drop 20 mil on them. I have, wait, you have enough money to drop 20 mil on them. I do have enough money, but I don't want to. Not for something I'm going to use one time. All right, we're going to back off the car scene for a little bit here. Um, which do you prefer, Star Wars or Marvel? Ooh. And why? That's a good one. Okay. Star Wars or Marvel? That's that's really that's really tough. Uh I would um, I'd probably say uh that uh probably choose Star Wars. Yeah. I grew up on Star Wars over because think about it, episode four, five and six came out like 70 eight early 80s right and then you had episode one two and three which came out like late 90s early 2000s episode three which you have the fucking best fight scene ever right that's my I, god damn that's one of the best i movies grew of up all time. on watching that shit bro and then we got to see seven eight and nine in theaters right that was in, like, that was great that was awesome well i guess eight not so much but uh yeah well Anyway, yeah, no. Uh, if I had to choose, I think Star Wars will always trump Marvel. But I've been heavy on the Marvel lately, and that's been the the trend I've been on. Okay, okay. So, what do you like? What movie are you watching? Certain movies. Um. Well, I've watched uh the first Thor and the second Thor recently. So I've Thor also Thor and watched, Thor and Dark World. Yeah also watched all three iron mans um and then i think uh the toby Maguire spider-mans i watched t- fucking two and three because we just skipped one well because you don't need to watch one <laughs> I, I just watched it and one like, is the best one two's the best no one, one is the tell- best one no, doc ock bro hello peter Hello, PETA. Okay, you got me there. But no, because the best villain of all time is the Green Goblin. 
You're willing to fall. Yes. Oh my God. Other than other than the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What Joker? Heath Ledger, Jared Heath Leto. Heath Ledger. Okay. Well, then you're uh, no Batman. You know how I got these uh, scars? No, oh, no, 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 no. We don't know Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix here. We, we uh, we only know chaos. Chaos. Chaos is uh, a happy, happy place for me. Batman, I'm feeling a little uh, uncaged. <laughs> right uncaged, now. Batman. What are you gonna <laughs> do to stop me? No, the best Joker is actually Luke Skywalker. Actually, Mark Hamill, the animated Joker. Uh, you know, every animated no. movie and every animated show that the Joker is in, it's Mark Hamill. It's Luke Skywalker voicing him. Every single, almost like every single one, it's Luke Skywalker. I didn't know that, but nobody will ever beat Heath Ledger. It's for me. It's 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 a, almost a tie, but Heath Ledger does beat Mark Hamill for me. Really? Because Heath Ledger is just like. Nobody's going to play the Joker role better, no, though. Like, dude's, dude was so there. good at it. Ooh, so I good at it. Footies. He was. <laughs> he was. I was playing footsies with Kevin there for a moment. Ooh. Marvel, though, bro. What was it? What do you think the best villain of all time is? In what? Best villain of all time. All time? Like. Best actor played villain. Like, I thought Heath Ledger. Actor played villain. Actor That's kind of a tough villain. and very specific question. It, it really is. It really is. Like, oh. what villain, like, in a movie you're, like, just played, was just played really well. Well, you can't. And if you don't know the actor's name, that's fine. You can't, you have, you can't forget about Josh Bro Brolin as Thanos. That's as very one good of the point. best villains, I guess, in cinema. Ever. Right. Just in general, as a villain in movie. But at one the same the time, you, Spider-Man Far From Home, you have Green Goblin. You have he Doc was back. Ock. The whole movie yeah. was just piled with them. Because when I think villains, I'm thinking of kind of like superhero movies. Almost, cause right. No, that's, of, that's what I'm thinking, too. Not a lot of movies have uh, <sighs> super villains, I guess. Besides, or villains besides superhero movies. Right. So. I mean, every movie kind of has its villain. It's just how you look at it. Like, the bad guy in the movie. But going off of it, fuck, man. I mean, Heath Ledger's a great choice, but I don't want to choose Heath Ledger. Right. I want to see if I can go for a different opinion. Um, Marvel, I'm still playing music. Um... So, like, we got, you said Thanos, we have uh, Doc Ock, we have uh, the Green Goblin that we have, I'm trying to think, who else? Uh, Vi Venom. Venom. It's is Ven Venom, a, if a Venom is... A villain. Is he a villain? Yes. Is he or like, he's an anti-hero, but... He fights Spider-Man a lot, so I guess that counts as a villain. I guess so. I guess so. I'd have to say my favorite, and I think the best of all time, would be Venom, just because he's so he's dominant. He can take over anybody. Did too. they have Venom movies before the most recent ones? No. no. I didn't think so, other than Spider-Man 3. Yeah, when he was with Eric from that 70s show. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, and then he blew up. Boom. Yeah. Speaking of, Ant-Man and the Wasp comes out within, I think, this month? Somewhere within the 20th? Really? Yes. And I'm Actually, I thought it came out already. Um, Did it? Producer, when did uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp come out, or has it came out yet? Guardians of the Galaxy came out today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Oh fuck! It's still in a theater, a drive-in. That means it's old. Is <laughs> it the... said it's in a drive-in theater. No, is Ant Man and the Wasp old. on Disney Plus? It is on Disney Plus already. Dang! Then I need to watch it because Paul Rudd is such a great actor. Big time. 
Well, exclusively. yeah, it's a Marvel movie. It's going to be exclusively. <laughs> Budget two hundred million. They didn't make two hundred million though. I know that for a fucking fact. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, that's oh. nuts. Okay, wow. I'm just getting my ass handed to me yeah, today. Yeah, man. What's going oh. on? I'm gonna cry. Also, cause I'm tired. Yeah. Dude, do you know what time I got up this morning? What time? <sighs> well, it's something like I was, I don't know. I, I woke up at fucking 4.30 and I couldn't fall back asleep. And I had to go to work at 5. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll just stay up. Or I had to get up at 5. Right, you might as well at that rate. Yeah, so I was like, well, might as well stay up. And I've been up since 4.30. That's lovely. The... I had two energy drinks today, and I'm going to tell you right now, I am chugging along, but I know I'm deteriorating. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, geez. What about you? How are you feeling today? I am exhausted. Yeah. Well, you had a fucking job interview. Yep. All right, Roma, head out. All right, man. Peace. Have a good one. You too, bro. Peace. All right, peace.